Well, after almost a week of turmoil, mass arrests, and a campus lockdown, USC's president met face to face with protesters today. Carol Fultz called the talks, quote, meaningful, but protesters called the meeting deeply disappointing. KCAL News reporter Leslie Marin is live on the campus of USC tonight with more from both sides of the campus conflict. Leslie. Susie, Chauncey, late tonight we heard from those protesters not only calling that meeting deeply disappointing, but also a failure to students, faculty, as well as the community. Now we know that the school's president has asked LAPD not to mobilize on campus tonight. Behind me, you can see the campus is still on lockdown of security just on the other side, but things are peaceful. Student protesters remain camped out at USC for another night Monday, following their first meeting with the university's president since chaos broke out on campus last week. <laughs> president Carol Folt confirmed she met with organizers of the student led occupation and a faculty member for 90 minutes. In a statement writing in part, the student said at the end they wouldn't have considered this meeting a win from their perspective. And I can fully appreciate that. For me, the most important point was that we were starting to talk, and I think that was vital. The meeting follows the arrest of nearly 100 protesters after clashes with police on campus Wednesday. Over the weekend, crews had to clean up sidewalks and several monuments on campus, including the Tommy the Trojan statue, that were vandalized. We spoke to a student, a part of the occupation on campus. The school wants to villainize us and pretend that we're being, we're harassing students, we're being, um, we're causing a safety issue when there's a decent amount of students on campus who don't even know we're still here. But on Monday, some students did have a tough time getting to campus as many entrances restricted access to only students, faculty and staff. Completely locked everything down and it has been not great since obviously security has been beefed and despite the limited entrances at least from where i live on campus it's still relatively easy to get in there has also been more fallout when it comes to the university's commencement ceremonies on monday author c pam Zhang and ucla professor sophia noble withdrew from speaking at the rossier school of education's commencement ceremony asking others to join their boycott USC's main commencement ceremony has already been canceled, and it's left seniors like Will Myers scrambling to figure out plans as changes keep coming. By the day, by the hour, absolutely. Like, every email is one that we're all kind of hanging on to see what's going to happen next. And back to that meeting, student protesters did say they felt like Folt did not come to that meeting prepared to address any of their demands, which does include the university divesting funds from companies that may be supporting Israel. We know that that organization and Folt set to meet again tomorrow afternoon. Reporting live from USC, Leslie Marin, KCAL News. Leslie, thanks. Meanwhile, across town at UCLA, the pro-Palestinian encampment continues tonight. Earlier this afternoon, around 100 students and faculty members were seen walking out of class in support of the pro-Palestinian demonstrators. And in Orange County, many UC Irvine students have joined the pro-Palestinian protests as well. Earlier today, law enforcement was spotted here on campus near the encampment. Irvine's mayor, Farah Khan, warned the university against police action, saying the that she condemns any violations to students' rights for peaceful assembly. There have been no reports of any disturbances or arrests. And at the epicenter of college protests, today students at Columbia University in New York City ignored a school deadline to dismantle their encampment or face suspension. Now, school officials say negotiations with pro-Palestinian demonstrators broke down and warned in a letter this morning to leave voluntarily but the protesters remain defiant. And now to Texas, more students at the University of Austin ignoring a police command to disperse. Police used pepper spray as they arrested at least 100 people there today. And be sure to stay with KCAL News and KCALnews.com for the latest on the local campus protests.